Equation 10.9 is important in spectroscopy because you can use it to calculate the ratio of the number of molecules in the upper energy level to the number in the lower level. This is important because, for example, in absorption spectroscopy, if there are a lot of molecules in the lower level, there will be plenty available to be promoted to the upper level, which will make the corresponding line in the absorption spectrum more intense. Now let's look at the form of equation 10.9. First we have the ratio of the degeneracies of the upper and lower energy levels. Remember, degeneracy of an energy level is the number of distinct states within that level. So if there's only one state with that energy, the degeneracy G is 1. Now look at the exponential factor, and remember that the exponent is the thing that has the big effect. Note too, the negative sign, so increasing the magnitude of the exponent will decrease the magnitude of n upper over n lower. So now we're in a position to say what the really important parts of equation 10.9 are. They are the variables in the exponent. And these variables are the energy difference, delta E, which is the energy difference between the upper and lower levels, and the temperature, T. If you increase the magnitude of delta E, the magnitude of n upper over n lower decreases because of the negative sign in the exponent. Increasing t has the opposite effect. It increases the ratio. All this corresponds to what you would expect intuitively. A bigger energy gap means you have less molecules in the higher energy level, but a higher temperature means you have more.